First off, my boys, when it comes down to things, huge shout out to Harada when it comes to this amazing work. Because my gosh, look at me! I look like a Genshin character, honestly. Looking amazing, looking saucy. If you want to go ahead and try to commission this as well for $10, mind you, $10 for this glorious ass work, then definitely go ahead and give Harada a follow, honestly. That would be amazing because this, again, looks effing glorious. That's number one. Number two, oh my gosh, do I hate PS5 hunting because PS5 hunting is the most pervivial bullshit I've ever seen. One day the price is going to be pretty alright. The next day, kiss my ass that price is going to be alright. Literally, the only place I can think of that I could possibly get it is probably through StockX. Other than that, I cannot figure out any shape and form of getting one. Good thing is, it's not really that far away. It's like, what, 665 with like shipping and taxes included and everything. So really it will be like a hundred dollars more than what I already have. But still nonetheless, why can it be at retail price? Why is everything $700 or more even when you go to the store in person? This don't make no damn sense. Again, trying to get this as fast as possible because I haven't played Genshin in 26 days because I want to lick vagina of Lamine but I can't get that for whatever reason. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the PayPal in the description if you would like to toss me something extra if you just have it even though i don't blame you if you do not want to do it then please go ahead and go to the description if you would just like to but we ain't here to talk about some bullshit ass 100 pay to go through the tour of the white house head ass type of money we are here to talk about a freaking artist that has done amazing work. A freaking artist that does amazing work and make you come. We are talking about Zone herself. Now, when it comes down to things, we talked about Zone before on the channel. We actually went out of our way to bring up Zone and, you know, the personal history I have with her, as well as the history of herself when it comes down to things. And I say in the next part, we'll talk about her art and the things that she has done, honestly. So that's what this part is. Also, I am really down bad for Zone Tron. I am actually down bad. Does it make it does it make sense? No, because if I stick my penis in the exhaust, I am going to freaking die. But it is what it is. We're gonna get some robot coochie today. This ain't the first robot I like, because the first robot I like is Lavarus from Persona 4. So anyway, when it comes down to things, Zone Tron has done a plenty, plenty amount of creations throughout the years. There is iconic ones such as the Blue Me animation or we have the other one that you probably not necessarily know of, the Tension Muyo one, which honestly is a slept on one. Granted, it's a simple one, but it's a slept on one nonetheless. When every time Zone makes these animations, she really just captures the characters perfectly. Honestly, like every time you see like an animation from her, like, it looks one-to-one -to, -one to the actual characters, honestly. Maybe outside of a few tweaking parts here and there, but other than that, majority of the time, it is literally the same character over and over. A lot of people can't draw straight up the character exactly what it looks like in the exact same style, so that's pretty good. Honestly, it reminds me of Felipe Godi, honestly, with how he is good at drawing MHA stuff and how it looks exactly like the characters. But yeah, that's a really good talent to honestly have. Like, I can barely do that personally with like certain characters. Like, toss me Oda Chan, I can do that. Like, that, that's that's 100%, 100% a good time. I can, I can draw Oda Chan with ease. But when it comes to literally maybe any other character, I might have a harder time, but sometimes I know how to master that. So, but knowing how to draw characters exactly like they are, comes with like some experience honestly so that's one thing Zontan definitely does have down in the books. Now when it comes to original characters honestly I really wish we got more stuff out of original characters especially Reiko. I'm still mad she's dead. Why is she dead? I don't know. I'm mad. Why did I also try to make my version of Reiko in Koikatsu and it completely failed? I don't know, but point is, I miss Reiko because she was literally the best damn OC she created, if I'm being perfectly honest. Outside of Zone Tron herself, outside of Zone Tron herself, and Zone Tron, outside of those two, obviously, like, this is my favorite one. Like, the Jin Taiki girl is good as well, but, like, I ain't gonna lie, when I saw her, when at the time I did see her, I saw her a lot, so 
Personally, I'm kind of over the Jinsaki girl. I'm more into Reiko now, definitely. But I, I would personally, you know, per I personally like Reiko a little bit more than, you know, I, I mean, I was obviously, besides Zone Time, I like Ro I like Reiko like a bit more. Cause like if we're doing like a ranking system or some shit, honestly, I would say Zone Time number one, Reiko number two, Zone Tron number three, and then everybody else is like number four and five. That's literally how it's, go that's literally how I would see things, honestly. So, yeah, but personally, I wish we got to see more stuff for her, you know, OCs, because I feel like there's a lot of potential with it, those, and we just don't get a lot of it, unfortunately, so it kind of sucks. Granted, I wish we had more fan art of those characters as well, because, you know, because Zone don't have to be the only person to draw these characters, like, we could draw some of these characters, why haven't we drawn these characters? I don't understand it, and I'm quite pissed. But point is, when it comes down to things, I, I would just love to see more of the OC characters getting some shine in. Like, Zone Time already gets a lot, but I would like to see, you know, Reiko and the others try to get something too. Now, last year we actually talked about one of my top 5 favorite animations that Zone has ever done, and I put Kill a Kill at number 1. To me, it is still number 1, but I put Reiko at like at number 4, possibly, so I might bump that up a few points, honestly. But definitely when it comes down to things, again, when it comes to the animations, like Kill a Kill is like my favorite one just because it really does capture everything that is Kill a Kill in the most horniest way possible. And it's just absolutely excellent, honestly. Like I wish we got to see Nanan -Nan in some shape and form, but you know what it is. It is what it is. One thing about Zone that I absolutely like too is that she does animations on obscure animations in the shows that we probably never heard of. Like I wouldn't be surprised if she did like an animation on Tai Chi Chasers. Who heard of Tachi Chasers? Probably not a lot of people. Probably not. Because it was on Vortex, aka for kids, back when it was like, you know, back in the day. So I wouldn't be surprised if she would pick an obscure show like Taichi Chasers or some shit like that. That could be a possibility. Or Monsuno. My gosh, Monsuno. Who was that orange chick, orange haired chick in that show? Cause I ain't gonna lie, she was the baddest character in that show, and I ain't gonna even cap. That was the only reason why I watched Monsuno. <laughs> that was quite literally the only reason why I cared about Monsuno because she was fine. Honestly, it's like it's her, uh, Zoe from Dinosaur King, or like you know, like some other third thing. Honestly, I'm surprised. Also, Zone hasn't tackled Jade Chan. I'm also surprised about that. But anyway, point is, one of the shows that I only just watched like a few months ago that she actually did with one of her animations was like this i want to say european england paris animation i think called wa 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 fu or what is wa something i don't necessarily know but basically it was like this princess and this other girl and they basically got f by some plants and stuff that was a really good animation and why did it take me so long to actually watch this animation why did it take me so long to look up the Jinsai on the or on the uh, on the green hair lady? Like I don't know why it took this long, but it did. For many years, I've seen this animation just lingering around. I never watched it because I didn't know what show it was. But now I'm watching it, and I'm just like, why have I not tackled this show before? This show is actually freaking glorious. When it comes down to things, Zone has done so many different animations, so many different types of things conquered and completed and just been dominating all types of animations for so long honestly does she really need to draw and make more animations not necessarily because she has topped everything would it be nice to see something new absolutely but if Annika prove anything to everybody honestly is that zone has a tremendous major presence it just proves that people will still forever worship this queen because definitely when it comes down to things she is the top person that is the on the other uh, animation jinsai kingdom and ain't nobody gonna pretty much take that spot i don't necessarily think that's ever gonna be the case even if she retires one day i highly doubt that anybody is ever gonna match up to what zone has done not only has she done all these animations but again she has literally helped build up the anime community in a way honestly just by through her gentai animations she doesn't necessarily care for all the fame and you know glory that comes with it but 
you know, get your praise when you can get it, lady. Get your praise in, you know. Get get your get your get your get your shine in. Give the flowers to Zone while she, we she's still here with us and still you know kicking ass in the game when she wants to. Now, if you excuse me, I'm probably gonna try to go out my way to draw Reiko because Reiko is not dead. Not to me, damn it. But anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification for you Also follow Zone, please on her respective social medias and Zotan as well. And if you haven't seen Zone on TikTok, because my gosh, Zone is hilarious as hell, uh, definitely go watch her on TikTok as well. I'll try to link that in the description if I remember. And uh, yeah, definitely that's all I wanna say for this one. So if you'd like to follow me on Twitter as well, that'd be nice. Patreon is also a go. And uh, PayPal, I'll just throw that in the description because PS5 nonsense, but anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Until next, Boy J, sign off. Have a blessed day.